today we're going to learn a new second grade strategy that's called the make a 10 strategy. Now I want to point out that this is just one type of strategy. You do not have to use this every time you add, but for some students, this strategy makes a lot of sense and we use it very naturally. A lot of adults use this strategy, but for some students, it may not be the best way to go. So as we start our lesson, remember, this is just one way to do this addition, but it is not the only way. Start our lesson by thinking of all of the equations that we can do very, very quickly by adding with the number 10. For instance, 10 plus 1 gives me 11. 10 plus 2, 12. All I'm doing is replacing the 0 with the new number in the 1's place. 10 plus 3 gives me 13. 10 plus 4, 14. This strategy is very quick and easy to add. If we know our 10 plus and then a number, then this strategy will help us add quickly and easily. All I'm doing is replacing the zero with our new number in the ones place. So it's very quick and very easy to add. That is why a lot of students use the make a 10 strategy because adding on to 10 is very easy. Start with the first example. As you can see at the top, our equation is eight plus six. Now what we want to do is change one of these numbers to a 10 to add quickly, especially if you don't know eight plus six in your head. What I like to do is I like to always change the larger number. In this case, eight is the larger number. I pick the larger number because it's easier and it, we don't have to move as many pieces to turn it into a 10. Now, we have eight apples and six apples. If I want to change that eight into a 10, then I'm going to need to move an apple. That's nine apples. I need one more to make it 10. So now, instead of eight plus six, I have 10 plus four, and I can add that pretty easily, can't I? Using my tens addition trick, if I take that zero and move my new number into the ones place, I have 14. I didn't change the number of apples. All that I did was I moved two apples from the six and I gave them to the eight to make 10 total apples. Let's try another example. This one is five plus nine. Now second grade, which one is bigger, five or nine? Nine is bigger. So I'm going to take that nine and change it to a 10. Do you remember what I need to do to take these nine apples and make them 10? I need to take one apple away from the top. Now I have 10 and four. Oh, that sounds like our equation from the last one. 10 plus four, and if I do my tens trick, 14. So all I needed to do was move that one apple because I already had nine. Nine is so close to 10. And I just moved that apple down to the bottom to make a 10. Here is one last example using the apple pictures. I have eight plus four. Now I know that eight is larger than four, so I'm going to turn this eight into a 10. So I have eight, nine, 10. Okay, so now I have 10 
plus, how many do I have left on the bottom? Two. And that gives me 12. So all I did was move some of those apples to make a new 10 to help me add easily. Now, the next problem, as you can see, does not have any pictures. Because a lot of times when we're solving math equations, we might not have pictures or little counters or cubes to move around. We might just need to start practicing doing this strategy in our head if this is the strategy that you would like to use. Now, the first step is the exact same as with the apples. I ask myself, is three or eight larger? Eight is larger, isn't it? So I need to figure out how many more does eight need to get me up to 10? Let's see, eight, nine, 10. So I need two more to get me from eight to 10. So I need to add two to the eight. That gives me 10. Okay, that's good. Now, where did I get these extra two from? Oh, I took them away from the three. So if I add two to the eight, I need to subtract two from the three because I took them away from the three to give them to the eight. So I'm going to use my touch points. I have three, two, one, one left. So my new equation is one plus 10. And if I use that little trick that I used on the other slides, that means that my total is 11. So I did not need to draw any pictures. I did not need to draw any circles, but I used two equations to help me make a 10. Let's try again on this example, seven plus five. Second grade, which one is bigger, seven or five? Seven is bigger. Now I need to get from seven to 10. Let's add some circles to count. So seven, eight, nine, 10. I need three more to get me to 10. So let's add three to the seven. That gets me to 10, that one's good. Now if I added three to the seven, what do I need to do to the five? I need to take three away. I'm subtracting three. So five, four, three, two. So my new equation is 10 plus two. What does 10 plus two give me? It gives me 12. Here's another example, six plus nine. Is six or nine bigger? Nine is bigger. How many more do I need to get from nine to 10? Let's see, nine, 10. Oh, just one more. So I need to add one to my nine to make it 10. But if I added one to the nine, don't forget to take one away from the six to get me that new number two. So six, five. Five plus 10 equals 15. These last examples are going to help you with some practice problems for today. As you can see over here, we have our equation seven plus six. Now, we are going to do the same strategy that we did on the previous slides, where one number needs to get added to and one number needs to be subtracted from. So let's ask ourselves that good question, which is bigger, seven or six? Seven is bigger. How many more to get from seven to 10? Seven, eight, nine, 10. We need three more. So let's add three to the seven. That gets me to 10. And if I added three to the seven, do you remember what I need to do to the six? 
Take three away from the six. Good. Six, five, four, three. Oh, that's a double, isn't it? So now my new equation is 10 plus three. I'm going to move that into these matching boxes. This is where our new equation goes. And if you remember that nice little trick that we used, I take out the zero and plug in my new number. That gives me 13. And this is the same answer, 13. Nice job. Let's try one more example with these boxes. Remember, the ones over here are for our new tens equation. We know that one of those digits is going to be a 10. Let's look at four plus nine. Which is bigger, four or nine? Nine is bigger. And how many do I need to get from nine to 10? Nine, 10. Oh, just one. So I need to add one to my nine. That gives me 10. Oh, let's move that 10 over here to our mystery box. And if I added one to the nine, that means I must subtract one from the four. So four, three. Three plus 10. And if I use that same trick that I did before, I take out the zero, I plug in the three. 13. Remember second grade, this is just one strategy to help you add. We will practice it today, but you do not have to use it every time you add. You might prefer to use touch points or counting on with your fingers. That is fine. This is just one way for you to practice adding.